What's going on everyone? My name is Impulse and welcome back to Hermitcraft. We have so much to do today that we're going to get right to it because I just have a full list of different things I've been wanting to do for a while and just haven't had a chance to get to. So going to be a jam-packed episode. So much to do, so little time to do it. But first, I want to play Decked Out today because I keep missing the ability to get my hands on some keys hidden throughout the shopping district. So I really haven't been able to play for a while. We turned in our set and I really haven't played since. So I want to get back into the game, uh, see if we can find another set, see if we can get another point on the board. But first, I'm going to have to search the shopping district for keys. Tango hid four new shulker boxes. So we're looking for black shulker boxes, of course. You guys have seen this before. And he usually hides them in pretty good spots one time i found it up on drumbot there and we just need to look all around this is usually very very difficult to find these and could take us you know an hour who knows but i'm going to just poke around the entire shopping district i think two have been found so there should be two left if i'm not mistaken and we will just look under every single nook and cranny because I got to find at least one of those boxes today. I always figure these caves are a nice spot to hide these boxes, but uh, I have not found one yet. I don't think he actually tucks them back this far, but I did notice <laughs> mycelium. Yep, <laughs> can't be stopped, can it? Nope, you guys know. Can't stop the mycelium resistance. Oh, what do we see down there? Is that it? Did we find one? I guess we were in the right place. Oh, yeah, of course. Let's break this out. Let's see if it has a key. This has got to be it, right? There we go. That's what we're looking for. And, ooh, nice. Four coins as well. I feel like we should fix that now instead of just leaving it like that. What can we do here? Just take a little bit of that and a little bit of that. And I think, yeah, that probably works out. Just wanted to give you guys a quick reminder, the Impulse Plush is still on sale. There's only, or there's less than 17 days left at this point. So if you haven't got one, make sure you do so before you forget. The link to buy one is in the description below. So this is exciting. We're going to get a run at Decked Out once again today. We're going to do that a little bit later, but I wanted to come in here because there is an auction going on. Basically, read me, yo. Okay. Uh, <laughs> season 7 silent auction. You hear that? That's the sound of great deals. Place your bids in the lectern and win all the prizes on the corresponding table. Auction starts September 16th. Auction ends September 30th. Guess what, guys? That's like right now, pretty much. Uh, so this is our last chance to get our bids in because after today, they're going to be locked and winners will be announced October 1st. And so I want to see, I've been waiting for this actually. I've been waiting for it to be almost over so we can come in and and basically swoop in and take the boxes we want. So all diamonds go towards the prize for ongoing mayor, uh, the road competition. So we could actually get some of these diamonds back if we, uh, if we win. If we if if we win the road contest, we could basically be giving ourselves diamonds. So I got a feeling this is going to be a very good deal, and I don't mind taking some risk here. So you know, for instance, this chest was found outside Treasure Island. It's got all this stuff in it. Nothing too good. I probably wouldn't put much money down for that. But let's see. Cub one diamond, Etho two diamonds. Yeah. See, if we really wanted this, we could probably snag it for three diamonds. I mean. Three diamonds, uh, I don't even know if that's worth it, but it might be fun just to win it, just to, you know, just to win something. Anyway, I'm gonna go through here and kind of take a look at everything that's available and really analyze, you know, where the bids are at. See, this one I already came through and bid two diamonds a while back, and you can see I've been outbid since. So, is it now worth five diamonds for this? I think Etho just wants it because uh, it's got his head in it, maybe? I don't know. Some rockets? I, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. That's what I'm going to do, though. I'm going to go through and analyze every single one and decide if it's worth it to up the bid. And when we come back, I will show you exactly what I've bid on here. Oh, no. I think that's Corrales. I think he's going to come in here and place bids. Oh, no, that's not good. That's not good. Because if we place our bids, he'll bid after us. He'll outbid us and he'll win. So I think we better wait for him. I'm just going to hide back in the corner and maybe we can see what he actually bids on. Dang it! Oh, he found us. <laughs> well, I guess we'll leave Corrales to his bidding and we'll come back when he's done and then we'll just outbid him. I have had a revelation. You see, all diamonds going towards the prize for the ongoing mayoral road competition. That means that if we win the road competition, 
we're just gonna win the diamonds back that we put into these bids so we could potentially get all the things and get the diamonds back so basically all this stuff for free so i've gone ahead and upped the bid on every single one of these i'm pretty sure 14 sticks will win that one um because uh, yeah of course uh but for the rest of them for real i've upped the bid on every single <laughs> every single one by one diamond and with it being near the end of this whole silent auction i mean i got a good feeling we are going to win a lot of these and yeah you can see every single one i i <laughs> Most of I didn't even bother to really look inside of, uh, but we've, yeah, yeah, we've outbid every single one. And the one that I didn't have to actually touch was this guy right here, auction number 13. Uh, I bid on this a, a few days ago, and I put in, I upped the bid from one diamond to 64 diamonds. And you might think, what? that's crazy. Why would you do that? Well, there's a simple answer to that. Look inside. <laughs> we got to buy up this mycelium. Yes, I know we have a mycelium farm, but we need to make sure we own all the mycelium in, in, in basically in the whole world. We want to make sure that we are in control of all the mycelium. So there you go. I'm going to make sure this becomes ours and uh, yeah, pretty much everything else in here. <laughs> and then we're going to get our diamonds back when we win the road competition. I am a, I'm am pretty confident guys. I mean, it's, it's pretty much a no brainer that we're going to win the road competition because you know, we, we did put like 8 million beacons in the road. So we got this. And what is all that noise up there? Cub, what are you doing? Let's see, he said something in chat. Uh, enforcement office vibe time now in session. Feel free to stop by for vibes or to report things to the enforcer in d, &D one and in the office if you want to stop by. Uh, <laughs> Jeff logs in and he's asked if he was gonna pass, get a road pass, oh my goodness. Uh, and Jeff's gonna do it. Okay. All right. There you go. It's working. It's working, Cub. Keep keep playing them notes. Vibing upstairs. So next up on the to-do list, we are back in the gaming district because we're gonna revisit this game called Chicken, which uh, last time we played, we nailed it. Perfect score. We got it a few times actually, and. Uh, I think Azuma realized the game was too easy and he's since made some changes. So let's take a look and see how the game is now played. Now, it's the same game as before. You're dropping down, you're trying to uh, basically just miss the lava and not trigger string on your way down. And so basically you're kind of getting out of the way at the last second as the game Chicken is usually played. And now, instead of it just being a total score of one drop, you have to add three attempts together, which means that if you get three perfect scores in a row, you'll get 75 points. And that's obviously what we're shooting for today. Uh, it costs two diamonds to play, and that will give you three attempts. And if we want to do even more, we could get six attempts, which I guess that would be six times three, right? That would be 18 attempts. And we could just put in a diamond block for that. Now, that's what we did last time, and we ended up not needing so many attempts. So I think I'm just going to pay two diamonds at a time for three attempts. And you, my friend, you are the mascot here. Don't touch the lava. Uh, you're, you're making a mess. <laughs> you're making a mess. Do I really need to clean up after you? Where did it go? And where did it go? Did I not just pick up the... There it is! There's something about this area. <laughs> an issue with blocks and stuff uh, that happened last time oh i'm sorry i'm sorry i just hit him with his own egg <laughs> all right let's see we need to find some diamonds and does he have a yeah here it is we'll find some diamonds and we'll pay for our first attempt we'll see how it goes all right first two diamonds are in so we should get three attempts if i remember right we need to take our wings off and uh, i'm gonna keep my my totem on just in case <laughs> just in case i am wearing feather falling boots but we should be fine okay so let's make sure there's no new rules no elytra yep no ender pearl stay in first person view okay uh but we are allowed to like look down and stuff right so Let's go. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> Corrales just discovered that we outbid him. Oh, man. <laughs> Impulse rude. Uh, yeah, he even showed me his outfit, which I had to cut because I don't think it was, uh, you know, family friendly. Uh, he's wearing some sort of weird thong type outfit. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> oh, Corrales, poor guy. Okay, try to do a mini game here, Corrales. Don't distract me. Okay, here we go. First attempt out of three. We got to get perfect on all three. Here we go. And last second. We did pretty good. We did pretty good. What is that a score of? 
23. Okay, 23 for the first score. Not bad, not perfect, but not bad. Now the thing is, we got if we hit lava once, we're pretty much toast. Okay, so let's reset that score. Let's go for another run. Okay, good to go. Back up at the top, second run, and yep. Uh, didn't hit the lava, but I think I pulled too soon. No, 23 again. All right, so we're at 46. This isn't bad so far. All right, let's see if we can pull this off for a third and final attempt. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. Don't blow it. Oh, no. I think I definitely chickened out. No, I didn't. <gasps> we did it. Perfect score on that one. We didn't catch on fire or nothing. Oh, nighttime, though. Let's not die. I'm already down half my health. <laughs> Thank you, Cub Fan, for sleeping. I don't want to have any creepers blow up any of these lovely games. Ah, little guy. So if my math is correct, that leads us to a final score of 71. That's pretty darn good. In fact, let's go see the high scores and see if we've got it. 54, 55, 66. Oh my goodness, we have taken over high score once again. This is our game. I love this game. Three runs in a row. I paid two diamonds to put the high score in the book. That's it. That's all it cost me, two diamonds. We're going to win some diamonds out of this thing. I don't really see anybody posting higher scores than that unless somebody can somehow get perfect 25s all three runs or very, very close to that. We got this one in the bag. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> this is great so far. We're having a good day. So Cub Fan just reached out to me wondering if I could meet him over at Decked Out because apparently he's got a deal he wants to make with me. So let's go see what's happening here. Impulse, hello, my friend. How are you today? I'm good. How you doing, Cub? I'm doing fantastically well, my friend. Um, I brought you here today, man. I I've summoned you. Yeah. To, to just admire your artifacts that you've collected since you have so many more than me? It's a great board. I'm not going to lie to you. I, mean, I wanted you to see it. It's it's very nice, very aesthetically pleasing. It but, is. Uh, I've, also, I've also spotted something on your board that I may be interested in. Really? I only have like three artifacts. What did you spot? I spotted this ender chest up here. This, what is this? End set Ooh. rare. Oh, yeah. my 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 one rare you got your eyes yeah. on, huh? The the precious rare, yeah. The precious that's, that's rare. The okay, so you're building out an end set, obviously, and you need mm -hmm. that. What am yep. I building? Uh, not much. <laughs> I have a, a witch set and a nether set going, but the nether set is at least uh, that's just a common, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't know mm -hmm. what I'm doing, Cub. I got to make some runs today and, uh, and and get some artifacts, but I'm going to make a deal for, for something if, if you really okay. need that. It might cost you. Okay. Well, I, I got a, I think I have on my board a nether set uncommon, Ooh. which I'd be willing to trade for that uh, that rare you got. Okay. Yeah. Since, and then, okay. okay. I like that. Since, since it is a rare, you know, I mean, maybe I throw in something else, like maybe another artifact, like there's a... There's a dragon set common here. Could yeah. Be useful. Yeah, I kind of feel like if you go that route, right? An uncommon plus a common would like equal a rare if that mm -hmm. works that way. So yeah. yeah, and I could potentially start building uh which one are you thinking about? The the dragon you said? I think the dragon, yeah. Okay. Dragon one. Yeah, I could I could fancy building the uh, out a dragon set next. We'll see what I get today in my runs, if anything. But um that is you got yourself a deal, man. I'm gonna go I'll go grab my artifact. I don't know if there's like a proper way to make the exchange. Like, you know what I mean? Do we just throw yeah. up on the ground it, or, or what? How does this work? Just kind of like on the count of three. Uh, okay. One, yep. two, three, two, go. Three. Oh. Discord delay. We, I thought for a second you were gonna rip me off, but we we got it. Okay. Woo. Did I get? Oh yeah, there it is, right yeah. there. Answer. Right okay, cool. <laughs> I was you like, know, oh. I wasn't gonna cheat you. Hang I'm on. an honest. I'm an honest person. No way, I'm gonna cheat you there. All right, that works out. Now I have four. That makes my board look a little more impressive. That's yeah, thing. that's good. That's good. Oh. Getting full. Getting Dude, full. I've been having a hard time getting runs in, oh. man. I can't find boxes Dude. to save my life. <gasps> Dude, <gasps> no way. The lights. No, the lights. Dude. Uh, oh, it's. Dude, Asuma is is sitting here AFK. Oh, oh no, it's open. it's open. Oh no, he's literally sitting Dude, here. Wait. I kind of feel bad if I press the button, but uh, I don't know. What do you think? You know, here's it. Here it is. I've been trying to do a good deed of the day every episode, and I forgot the last couple episodes. So my good deed of the day is he saw nothing. Go ahead, Cub. It's all yours. Okay. Okay. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. 
It's been pressed. It's been pressed. I wasn't here. Run. I wasn't any part of this. Run, Impulse. Run. <laughs> We're out. We're out. Fly away. All right. I've already done a good deed of the day. Sort of, by helping Cub take the uh, the button away from Azuma, who was patiently waiting. But I think, I think I'm going to do another one. I think I'm going to do a real good deed of the day. You see, I'm out looking for more keys to deck out, more black shulker boxes, and Ren is as well. And I've actually come across a second one, but I'm going to be nice, and I'm going to help Ren find it. So, I've told Ren in chat to meet me on top of the llama, and I'm going to, I'm going to help him out as soon as... These phantoms go away. Okay, I think he got the message. Let's see if he comes our way. Oh, there he is. Hi, you scared me. Hello. Okay, okay. Follow me, friend. Okay, ready? We're gonna. We're we're just gonna. We're just gonna. We're gonna come down here, and uh, we're just gonna. We're just gonna stand here. We're just gonna. We're just gonna stand here, and uh, we're just gonna maybe maybe back up to uh, a little something something. There we go. <laughs> I think he's got it. I think he's got it. All yours. <laughs> there we go. That is a true good deed of the day. We are giving away the box to Red. He said he ran past it three times. <laughs> All right. But we are going to keep looking for ourselves, though. I'm hoping to still be able to find another one. I'd like to do two runs of Decked Out. So we shall keep looking. And I think, yeah, Tango said he set out a few more. We should be able to find one if uh, we keep our eyes peeled. Ooh, looky, looky. We got one. Oh, yeah. There we go. Sweet. We're going to be able to make a second run today. That's what I was hoping for. Because, you know, if we went in and got immediately killed by a Ravager on our first run, that would make me sad. So, <laughs> awesome. All right. So, we're supposed to tell Tango when we find these boxes so he can kind of keep track of how many are out there still. So, we need to let him know. I don't even know how to explain this one. It's kind of like down the hill from Color Complete to the north side in the water. Okay. Perfect explanation. Actually, I'm going to tell him right now, and then we get to take our two boxes we found today, our two keys to decked out, and we're going to do a couple runs here. Hopefully, we can find some artifacts and, and not die, because the last two times I, I did these runs uh, were not successful. So, uh, we're going to have to try our best today. We have stumbled upon a meeting of sorts. Hello. Um, I have a feeling <laughs> this may be a little deal happening because uh, you, you, you saw Cub steal the button from Azuma. Uh, you making amends for stealing the button? <laughs> are we? Are they waiting for doors to close? No. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> nice. Okay. See, all is well before you guys get upset about Cub stealing the button. See, he he gave it back to Azuma. They've worked it out. I'll be making a few runs in a bit. We'll let them finish their deal. We'll give them some privacy. And uh, I'm just going to I'm just going to I'm just going to go now. This is a little awkward. <sighs> here we go. I am nervous and Azuma's just hanging out in here. Uh, I wonder if he's waiting to play or not. It seems like he might be AFK, so I guess we'll just do this. We're just gonna we're just gonna go in. We've got two keys. Oh, I have some shulker boxes I want to give back to Tango first because they are empty. So let's go ahead and do that. These three are all empty, and he can have those back. Cause you know, I'd like him to put more keys out in the shopping district. <laughs> it probably needs those boxes to do so. Okay, loot box trade in. Interesting. Put in your loot box token, loot box. Oh, this is the new system, right? I have haven't done this new system yet uh, where we have just the key and not a compass just yet um, so let's do that we put the key in doors open up and then the compass yeah there it is up here so this is gonna be our compass and hopefully we have our decked out box ready to go but of course we aren't going to make this mistake ever again <laughs> we're we're not gonna do it we're not going in with our armor on or anything else that uh, we're not supposed to here and how's my hunger I always I always feel like I should force myself to get hungry so that I can kind of top it off right before we go in. I think I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to jump around until they, my, my little haunches there get shaken and I'm going to have one golden carrot. And that should put me at like max saturation for the run. And that might help us out a little bit. So, yeah, I'm just going to I'm just going to do this for a little bit. All right. I think that was a pro strat right there. 
perfect. And let's take a look at our box before we go in, see what cards we have. Resistance three, so we should be getting some resistance as we go. Beast Sense and Stealth two. Now the Beast Sense doesn't work if I have the Optifine shaders, the internal shaders on. So we might wanna double check that and make sure that's off. And no, internal shaders are on. So let's turn those off. Okay, they're off. And we also have Stealth two. So hopefully that means less clank is being generated and we can uh, we can last in there a little bit longer for a second. I thought I lost my decked out box. All right, uh, put it in there. We got our compass, nothing on us. I think we're actually ready to go and we need to activate the dungeon. Boop. Ready to go. There it is. We're going in, peeps. Ah, I'm nervous as always. Oh, we should go. We should go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ravagers, Ravagers. Okay, compass is leading us this way. There's lots of noises going off. I don't remember there being this many noises. <laughs> is, I think that's because our stealth is actually preventing some clank. Is that correct? Interesting. Okay. Feels like we need to go down there, but there's no good way to do that. Can't jump over. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Okay, is he coming? Yeah, he's definitely coming. Uh, so we need to avoid this Ravager now. We're going to have to pick a different direction to go. And hopefully he's not right behind us. Oh, this is good, though, because we wanted to come down on this level. But there is a Ravager right there in front of us, right where we need to go. Hi, he's up there. He's very angry about me being here. Uh, we're going to go this way. And there's another Ravager right there. There's Ravagers literally everywhere in here. Very scary. Very, very scary. But it looks like we can go this way. Now, we should be checking these barrels for loot. That is one thing that uh, I've learned since my last run is that we need to be checking for loot. Now, this seems to be where that last Ravager was, right? He was just over, over that way? Okay. Now, we're not generating as much clank as before because of our self. Oh, there was some. There, right as I say that, we generate some clank. And uh, what's happening here? Is this, is this where the compass is? Right here? No. I feel like we're super close though. Is it this one? Yes! Yes, we got our loot box token. Okay, so we need to get out, but uh, I'm kinda, I don't wanna be greedy, but like, I would like to find some loot as well. Should we just try to get our loot box out of here? I mean, I would love to find some loot. Uh, now I know if I go back that way, we're safe. The Ravager is over here, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. There it is. So we're not going to go that way. Did we just lead it? Did he catch us? No, he didn't even see us. All right, let's go back the safe way. Should we poke around just a little bit? I mean, there could be some good loot in here. Oh, what was that? Oh, that's the beast sense. There we go. Okay. Oh, they're all around us. There's literally one right in there. I, I'm surprised he can't see me. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get lost now though, and we're gonna lose our loot. I'm getting, I'm getting, oh, too much. Too, nope, nothing in the loom. Okay, good to know, good to know. We're getting greedy and I'm gonna lose my loot box because of this. This is probably bad technique. I wanna find something though. There's nothing, nothing in here. Okay, I thought, well, maybe if we checked again. All right, there's some more stuff back in here. As long as, there's a Ravager. There's a Ravager, he's right around the corner. I'm kind of getting lost now though. I think he's right through here, right? He's right through, there he is. Okay, how do we get out of here? I'm lost. I'm so lost right now. Oh no. I feel like we need to get through that way, but the Ravager is just down here. Wait, there's the bell, there's the bell. Okay, he's there. Another one there. Is he like right in there? Loot, please. That's it. Uh oh. Heartbeat's getting faster, guys. We need to get out of here. Okay. Uh, as it's, we're, let's let's not get too greedy. Let's see if we can find our way out. I know this is kind of the the blocks that we're looking for to find our way out. Oh no, I'm all turned around. There's a ravager there. There's a ravager there. Is he blocking our exit? He might be. We're definitely in the part of the dungeon here that leads to the exit. Which is, yes, right here. Okay, we're gonna make it out intact with our loot token. Perfect. 
Ah, oh, that wasn't a bad run at all. We didn't find any loot, but I think we stayed in there long enough. We looked for enough loot and uh, we just got unlucky. Let's go ahead and officially complete the run here by pressing the button, getting our box back, and then we're gonna get another card for our deck. So loot finder one, resistance one, we're good on resistance, and stealth, I think we're okay. Let's take this loot finder because we really struggled to get some loot. So hopefully next time we can use this and we'll get some more chances to find that loot and uh, get our hands on more of these decked out coins and maybe some other goodies. And look at Azuma just waiting outside the door for my run to be over with key in hand. He's got to wait until these doors close and then he's free to enter. I'm going to wait until he does so because I need to drop my loot box token in here and uh, I'm afraid he's going to pick it up. So I'm just going to wait for him to go in and then we'll find out what we get. Looks like Azuma just went in there for his run. So uh, good luck, Azuma. <laughs> and while he's doing that, let's go ahead and trade in our loot box token. It's this guy right here. Put your loot box token in the thing and it should pop up from the... There, there we go. All right, let's take this over to our artifact board and take a look because hopefully this will contain some good artifacts. And of course, we just got this guy from Cub, Nether Set. So if we can get some nether sets, I would be happy here. And we've got a shiny set, a B set, another shiny set, a unique even. Wow. A witch set. Okay. I, is that that? I already have that one. I already have that one. Oh, no. And an end set. Interesting. Okay. And then three more coins. So now we are up to 14 coins, which is excellent. So let's go ahead and we have to keep our artifacts on the board at all times. That's kind of one of the rules of the game. We got to be you know abide by the rules there of course that unique somebody might be looking for it the shiny set unique i i would venture to guess that somebody's probably looking for it now with two witch sets uncommon potentially somebody might want that we'll see i'll put it up on the board and uh let people take a look and see if you know we'll see if anybody gets in contact with me saying they want that and my inventory's all a mess now uh but there we go we have four books now and i guess oh I can give this back. I, I, I'm not used to these not being black, but I guess uh, when, when they come out of the floor, that's that's the normal color. Okay, so let's go ahead and give his loot box back to him. And we will wait for Azuma to finish his run. And then I want to go in again for another run. See if we can, see if we can be successful once again. I'm also kind of hoping we can find some more coins because that would actually be able to get it, let us buy more of these dungeon keys, except at the moment they're out of stock. But I think Tango is planning on restocking this. Tango has to do a ton of work to keep this game operational for us. So, dude, Tango, thanks again, man, for this game. It's just fantastic. And thanks for all the hard work you're putting into it to make sure it's playable. And uh, it's been it's been really fun. I know a lot of the hermits are getting into it. As you can see, uh, all the different heads on the wall now yeah pretty much every hermit is into this game at this point there's like only what three boards left unclaimed so yeah it's definitely becoming quite popular as we basically are waiting in line now for our next turn second run time and let's hope we can be successful once again oh here we go let's grab that and this time we've got an extra card that's hopefully going to help us this time we've got the loot finder so we're definitely going to try to get some loot out of this run i would like to get some more of those emeralds and all that oh of course let's make sure we're gonna go ahead and do all this now and i just ate a carrot i think so i'm not gonna do that trick again but we are ready to go heading straight into the game we gotta press that button i almost pressed the wrong button whoops <laughs> okay here we go game is starting <laughs> i love the noise right off the bat now is that beast? Now, Azuma's done a run since we've been through, so the beast could be in different places than last time. Oh, we just had some stealth action. Very nice. I hear him. He's very close. He's right there. Uh, okay. Uh, we shall. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, we are cornered. No, 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 no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We gotta get out of here. We gotta go. We gotta go now. The beast is chasing us and he's gonna hit us. He's gonna hit us. Oh, I think we lost him. I think we lost him. That was super close. We got nailed. This is where resistance, thank you. That's where resistance comes into play because we definitely needed that bit of help. Oh, my heart's racing after that. Okay, let's see if we can make our way through here. We're hungry now, though. Uh, so that's going to slow us down. I've been... Oh, Ravager. Oh, he saw us. He saw us. Okay, he's over there. Can we check the... Check the, the stuff. He didn't chase us in here, right? Okay, let's check the barrels. Can I have something? 
please. Is there any more barrels? How about these chests? Are these chests fair game too? I have no idea. I'm afraid I'm gonna like touch stuff I'm not supposed to. Okay, let's go check this one too. <laughs> I know we were just- Oh, look at that! Yes, that's what we wanted. We found some coins. Uh, let's keep going after the compass now. I feel like we're kind of in a bad way because we got hurt. Uh, it's gonna slow us down. Maybe we should not be sprinting through here. Uh, another chest there. Uh, the compass is pointing this way. Is it right here? Wait a minute, right, right here? Is this it? It's confusing. Compasses are confusing. I don't know if... It flips right here. What is happening? Is it right here? I feel like it's a it's one of these blocks. I'm not good at this. It's flip... It's flipping around though, right? It says this way and then it says that way. It feels like it's got to be right here. Is it on the other side of this wall? Oh, there it goes. It took it. It took it. I didn't get my... Okay, Tango says that happens sometimes. Uh, it took it, but I didn't get it. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Uh, we got a token. It was just behind me. Excellent. I think that's something he's been working on. Now, we should probably try... <laughs> no way. Free glass, Etho, man. Did Etho actually bring free glass into here and place it? That is epic. Oh, Etho, you are funny, man. He is hilarious. Okay. I think, given the fact that the heartbeats are kind of going, we should try to maybe just make our way out. We got a little bit of loot. I, I don't want to get too greedy. Okay, we just, we just dodged some stealth. That's good. Buttons in the graveyard aren't just for decoration. <gasps> oh, there's tips. Waterfalls can... Wait, water conceals? Waterfalls, water conceals. Okay, there's tips in here. The Elder Guardian knows more than you. <laughs> Seek him out in the Blackstone area. <gasps> there's all sorts of tips in here. 22 soul flames can be found within the dungeon. I feel like I shouldn't be stopping to, to smell the roses, you know what I mean? But these clues are, are great. To find the ultimate treasure, you need to take a leap of faith. Well, 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 look at you holding all the secrets. We did it. We got through here with all the secrets. Can you put like stuff in these looms to like hide loot? Okay, we got to get going, guys. We're, we're spending too long in here trying to look for things. We got to go. I got a feeling there's more secrets, though. Uh, let's see. Check those once again. Maybe they got filled since we were in there. I definitely want to go that way to get out of here. But again, okay, we just we just avoided some clank. Now we can see the Ravager's there. I think that's the only one we need to avoid, right, to get out of here. Okay, can we avoid him, though? He was, like, what, just up there? So we don't want to go that way, maybe. I feel like maybe now it's time that we don't be too greedy and we actually try to make our way out of here without dying. Okay, where do, I could use that again. I could use that again if we, you know, please, maybe, okay. Hmm. I am once again lost. I don't want to go that way. We want to stick with the, uh, the gray bricks, right? Because that's, we know that's how we get out of here. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Oh no, I feel like I got a feeling that Ravager stands between us and the exit. So is there a way to get out without running into him? He's right there. He's literally right right there. He's coming for us. He's coming for us. We gotta go. We gotta go now. Okay. Is there another way around him? Maybe if we go through here? Now we're starting to generate a lot more clank. Can we make it through this way and potentially make our way out? That is the question. Which way's the doors? I get so lost in here, Tego. <laughs> Who would have thought? It's kind of a maze. There we go. Okay, we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go now. We're gonna we're gonna make our way out. And oh, wh whoever runs this next, there's a Ravager right there, <laughs> just to the right of the doorway. I'm sorry. But we have another good run. Loot box token. Awesome. We're going to end here. We're going to grab our, our box again. We're going to see what we get from here. Again, I mean, not too much loot. I didn't find any soul flames. I probably ran past some. Maybe we need to add some soul seeker action to it if we want to do that. So let's go ahead and grab one of these books. Maybe we can upgrade to soul seeker two. And next time through, we can try to find even more of those. So not a bad run. We got out with another token here. So we can get some more artifacts. And we got... 
you know, one more decked out coin, which hopefully means we'll be able to buy a key later. And we got some secrets out of the deal, right? We, we uncovered some secrets by stopping and reading the books. So we'll try to use those, those secrets next time through, because look at this. Since I've played last, we've got a lot more people tied for first place now. So it's a five-way tie for first. And Etho, I know, has been playing a lot. And I got a feeling he's going to be scoring a second point very, very soon. So, oh, we've only got three spots left on our on our board here. We've gone from, what, three total when we started to only having three spots left, which we are about to fill, I think. Uh-oh, we're going to have to make some choices today. Shiny set, that's good. I think we're working towards that. Witch, Wither, and Ocean. Excellent. Now... What? Do we already have something? We've actually got two of these witch sets uncommon. So I think we'll go ahead and take one of those down so that we can put the new ones up, right? We'll do the ocean set. We'll do the witch set. And we'll do this shiny set. I need to organize these because look, shiny set uncommon, shiny set common, shiny set unique. So we need to find the shiny set rare. Hopefully somebody has it around here. And I don't know which one the shiny set rare would actually be. We could take a second to look around, see if anybody actually has it. That's it right there. Shiny set rare. Looks like false has one. And she's also building out her shiny set, although she's only got the one other one. So we know it's an emerald block that we're looking for. Let's see if any other hermits actually have one. Of course, Cub Fan has one. We just did a deal with him. Oh, we could have traded. What did he trade? A rare? Oh, we could have traded him a rare for a rare. Although I don't remember that being on his board before. So anyway, <laughs> we got some deals to make potentially because we've got a full artifact board now. And I need to build out a full set so that, you know, we can get another point. And of course, we can't hold on to this artifact. We have to put it back in the barrel so Tango can put it back into the mix. And there we go. Look at this brilliant board. <laughs> we are so close to building out another set. What a fantastic day for some decked out. And just a great day in general. We have put our name in on the auction, the silent bid, and hopefully we will win a bunch of stuff out of that and then get our diamonds back with the road contest win. Assuming we're going to win that and also post the high score on chicken. So hopefully that holds up. I don't know how long it's going to run for, but I'm looking forward to getting those diamonds as well. And then had two amazing runs at decked out and have a full board of artifacts. So I would call that a very successful day and a very fun episode hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did hit the like button if you're not subscribed make sure you do that before you go and with that said i'll see you again next time have a good one everyone